Hi again, Dunk Chunker. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Hello, my queen. This is weird for me, but at least I kept my word. Well, I'm back at the Lit Club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already waiting. <sighs> Thank you for keeping your promise, Dunk Chunger. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive head first in the literature when you can't read. All right, don't, don't go easy on him. Sayuri told me you don't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year. I don't know if you plan to come here and just hang out or what your angle is, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the classroom. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! <laughs> Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops into her seat. Hey, don't worry, guys! Dunk always gives it his best as long as he's on Xanax. <laughs> he helps me with, uh, maybe a little bit too much information. But, uh, let's just drop the subject, alright? <laughs> you're being really sus right now, Sayuri. Well, Sayuri, that's because you're too much of a mess. I get distracted by you. I almost set your house on fire when I was K-holing. <laughs> I thought that was me. Shit. <laughs> You two sound like you have a lot of issues you need to work out. I'm a little jealous. Oh. <laughs> Why is that? You and Dunk can become good friends too. You drop that prissy ass attitude. <laughs> wow. Hey now, take it easy. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> As usual, Sayori seems completely spot on to the situation. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. Wait, wait! <laughs> Me? Not really. Ah, oh, alright, don't be shy. It's nothing. Oh god, show me the anxiety's building. <laughs> no! Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Oh, what do I do? What? Huh? Oh, sorry, Yuri. I, I guess I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. No, oh, please. I, I can't take it. I, I've never received a gift before. <laughs> please, I, just tell me what it is. I'm gonna die. I don't care. It could be a slap in the face. Just any kind of affection. Please let it be a slap in the face. Uh, wow! <laughs> oh, I don't want to keep dragging it, but I'm shaking. I might piss myself. Okay, then. Well, here. Yuri reaches in her bag and pulls out a fucking book. <laughs> How to read for dummies. <laughs> I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that might help you read books. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of counterintuitive now that I think about it, because you can't read books, and it's a book about how to read books, but, uh, here you go. And, you know, we could discuss it. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so sexy? <laughs> she even picked out a book that might teach me something, despite me not knowing how. Oh, God! Thank you! <laughs> I'm definitely gonna try. I enthusiastically grab her arm by accident. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Too much physical contact! Please let go of my arm! <laughs> now that everyone's uncomfortable, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this moment all her life. Meanwhile, Natsuki's rummaging around in the storage bin. Off! I hear Natsuki 
moan oddly <laughs> in the closet. <laughs> she seems to be Britishly annoyed by something. I approach her cautiously in case she's armed. Uh, are you looking for something? Freaking Molnica, that bugger! She never puts my shit back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just going to fuss it up? <sighs> I feel, I feel, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki slides a bunch of garbage and boxes across the shelf. The fuck is that? It's, it's manga. It's Japanese porn. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm familiar. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you get caught. Yeah. Well, how did you know anyway? Oh, well, I heard you talk about a lot of women. It's, it's, ob it's obvious, mate. So, it's, it's, it's on your face. You're staring at my ass. How does she know? Wow, you're good. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There, the, there it is! <laughs> Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. That was rude. She turns, uh, I can't read. A manga. Oh, right, there it is. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Blair is rocking back and forth in, in agony. I have I, a panic attack. I know that feel. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> I get a closer. Oh my god, I'm fucked. I get a closer look at the box she's admiring. I'm admiring her box. <laughs> Parfait Girls. It's a series I've read many times. It means she's a lesbian. Or if you're gonna judge me for my sexuality, you can go do it through the glass on that fucking door, mate. She points to the classroom door. Hey, no, it's cool. I'm also a I ain't, I ain't say anything. I'm into women. Bro, I know that. You've said it like a million fucking times since you got here. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing, Dunk Chunga. <laughs> Consider this a lesson straight from the literature cub. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book into my hands. I can't read. I stare at the cover. I see four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. I don't know what that means. It's like lewd. Uh oh. Don't just stand there, whip it out. No, just just kidding. Ooh ah! <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall, beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs- oh my god! Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I, I just realized this entire scene is just all you. Oh god. <laughs> I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work for this sort of lesson. We can't read at the same time in chairs. It's impossible, Dunk. Really? Well, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. <laughs> what? Don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about this. Natsuki crosses her arms and legs and scooches a foot away from me. <laughs> My bad. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's particularly a bad thing. She's got a tight ass. So I opened up the book she gave me. Whoa! <laughs> 18. Just remember. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her pressing against my shoulder, much more eager to, to read than I am. Well, how long has it been since I read the beginning? What? You don't just go and look at all the pictures? You read the words? <laughs> well, not for this book. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Same. Are you paying attention? No. <laughs> I'm trying, but I don't understand the words. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. I'm sweaty, oh my god. <laughs> Typical slice of lice lesbianism. Slice of lice. I kinda grew out of these since I'm getting more and more into dark fetishism. What? <laughs> so, 
What should I expect from this? Is there going to be... What is it called? A plot? Well, of course there is! You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean... Well, I guess I know what you're saying. It's, it's more just about the pawn. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. Cream shop? <laughs> but that just helps you get to know the characters. Besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get on into their backstories, and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There's so many touchy parts. Oh yeah, I love those parts. <laughs> Sounds like you really know all about touchy. Maybe I underestimated you. What the fuck is that supposed to be? <laughs> Wait a minute. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, you well... cheeky bastard? <laughs> Ooh ah! <laughs> if you say that <laughs> every time... <laughs> Natsuki gives me a hard shove against my neck. <laughs> I just meant that I haven't seen you at your full power. What kind of cringe? What kind of thing is that to say to a person? Uh, I... Oh, look, this chapter, there's cupcakes. This is just a guess. But is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, Natsuki pauses it's for a moment. It's called Parfait Girls. <laughs> As if she doesn't want to admit something. Well, yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. It does. It totally does. Since I can read. That's just a coincidence. I know you can't read. It's called Parfait Girls. Like, I would never get into anything because it's in a manga. Sure. I feel bad for anyone that impressionable. Same. Aha, uh ha -huh, uh -huh. God, the denial. <laughs> so strong. Nah, she's, she's lying. I guess that explains her, her being a liar. All of Hobby's figure from a manga, I really wish she would have gotten into the lesbianism instead. Not to mention, I want to fuck her. Of course. Hell yeah! Now we're talking! <laughs> we read on for a few more minutes. I've finished a couple characters at this point. Wait. <laughs> Wait. We finishing people now? <laughs> Are you sure this isn't boring for you? No, it's not. Even though you're just watching me learn how to read? Well, I'm fine with that. Alright, that's hot. Thanks for trying to teach me. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to, to do shit. I thought you were going to say something horrible. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? You don't? Um... That's not... I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up with them without being all like... Eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet. Makes me want to punch them in the face. Oh, fuck those people, those pretentious cunts. You know what you should do? Xanax. <laughs> or ditch your friends. Friends are fucking lame. I'm already a massive fucking loser. I just beat my dick to manga. You should try it. But it's probably harder for you. You don't have a penis. <laughs> Raw, right. <laughs> it's like, wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's accurate. Uh, wait, which part of what I said? What did I just say? Am I speaking right now? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. Oh, God. <laughs> he's still going. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monaco is kind of a jerk about it. Oh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end. I, I get to learn how to read. Look at me. Learning. At school. Right, but that doesn't solve any of my fucking problems then, does it? Well, it might. You're enjoying yourself. That counts for something. Fuck. <laughs> so... Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's enough of this. Are you gonna keep reading? I'm trying to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I flipped the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. How long is this scene? <laughs> Right. Shit. <laughs> oh, look at you pretending how to know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori here is my favorite character. He 
You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially a bad one. Ooh. I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. You're gonna have to cut down on this shit. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard. Skip it. Alright. And being able. This is a rare thought that's messed up. Okay, everyone. <laughs> what? Are you all ready t with today's poems? Shit, what? <laughs> oh, come off. Could your timing be any worse? I was getting somewhere here with this fucking idiot. Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though you do look pretty cozy over there. Ah. Uh -huh. I would have been in another ten minutes there, cheeky con. Ah. Uh, Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to my balls. She hastily slides herself a good twelve feet away across the room. This is not far enough. <laughs> alright, alright, settle down, beautiful women. That's <laughs> enough learning for one day. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki across the room. You're giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? No. Monica. Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Huh. Is that really alright with you? I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on reading. Because he can't well, read. Of course. It would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. You don't know how. Just tr keep trying to finish, keep looking at the pictures, and try to make up a story. Get back to me soon. What? <laughs> I only got partway through the sentence before vomiting. I might fall behind at some shows, but I said my. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> just, gonna, just gonna go ahead. <laughs> Uh, by the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yes. My relaxation ends. <laughs> My anxiety begins. <laughs> I can't believe I agreed to do something so fucking lame. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really written anything before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? There's five of them. Hi, right! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaves torn from a spiral notebook. Let's go! <laughs> on the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Bro, do you sniff her napkins? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same. Hey. Alright. Who first? I mean, we got really tight with Natsuki just now. I feel like we bonded. But we can't just, like straight up dive face first into her pussy. Jesus Christ. And Sayori we're already friends with. We're too tight. I think the girl that we've been sipping for this whole time. Monica. Okay. I should start with Monica. <laughs> Yesterday, she seemed fucking gorgeous. <laughs> and I want to show her that I'm into her. Hi, Dog Chunker. I'm having a good time so far. Yeah, Natsuki's hot. Good. Glad to hear it. <laughs> By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Can we stop fucking reading? Go to the movies. Just hang out. <laughs> Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up, but you gotta start somewhere. I'ma be honest for once. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? Well, I tried my best. Take a look. Ahahaha! Ah, ha, ha. Don't worry, Dunk Chunker. We're all a little embarrassed about today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. W what were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I hand Monica my poem. <laughs> I like it, Dunk Chunger. Hmm? You're lying. It's a lot cuter than I expected. Your attempts at writing, that is. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. That's so mean. What the fuck? No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's an alright writer, too. She only learned last year. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> so take that as a compliment. Wow, she's just as smart as me. Thank you for this. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> there are lots of poems or stories out there. Uh, what? 
Oh. <laughs> that are no more than a few simple words. They can be funny, endearing, or even sad. Sad in many ways. <laughs> and sometimes, they're only a few lines long. Because that's all they can manage. They might even feel like they're written for kids. Or by kids. Or with people with kid-like intelligence. They can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. By kids. My poem had 20 words. <laughs> so are you saying Natsuki is capable of writing 20 words down? Yes. Most of the time. <laughs> as long as... Never mind. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I like books with pictures in them. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this, though. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to kind to define the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. <laughs> it's our guy's <nice> stroke. <laughs> of this fucking game <laughs> as immersed as I can get. Oh, it's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ah ha ha ha. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You wrote a poem too? I'm the leader of the literature club, idiot. <laughs> I have to write a poem. Oh, I see. Well, let me try. I'll read the poem. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> a hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I appear inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. So what do you think? Well, that was pretty fucking deep. I didn't understand any of it, but I liked how the words sound together. You know, I'm not that right person to ask for feedback at all. That's fine. That kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be very powerful. Really. Wow, there's a lot to know about this writing stuff. What made you think of it? We're in education. We're <laughs> in a school. We learn here. Writing is one of the skills we learn. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. I had an epiphany once. I'm sure you did. <laughs> anyway, I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem, or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper, and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. You can come on me strongly. Sorry. That was way late. Bro. I thought you would say something. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Let's do Natsuki. When Natsuki. I, it's funny, when I wrote the poem, I was like, she's gonna like it. And when she said, that's the kind of shit Natsuki would write, I was like... Yeah, I, I think you picked a bunch of words that mainly were for Natsuki. I couldn't tell if it would be more her or the other one who was like bubble, rainbow, sparkle. So, I don't know if you noticed, but every time you picked a word, one of the girls would jump up. That I, lets you know. I didn't. Oh, okay. I didn't notice that at all. Yeah, so every time you pick a word, one of the girls will jump up on the side, and that'll let you know which word they like. I was staring like a slack-jawed ape at the <laughs> words, like, bubble. <laughs> but do love you try. <laughs> yeah, literally, I was like, I wasn't paying any attention to that shit. Right. I had a feeling she would like it, or the brown-haired one. Right. So I, I, I don't really know them enough yet, because she's kind of a bitch, but she's also like into manga and cutesy shit, so it's like... Yeah. That's just her vibe, then. It's both. Okay, okay. 
Uh, Cinderace. This is all you. Oh god. All right, let's get this over with. Dot 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 dot. Okay. <laughs> well, let's start with the things I don't like. I don't like your stupid fucking face. <laughs> oh. Natsuki rereads my poem. Never, never mind. I, I don't really want to talk about it. What? Wh why are we, Why am I here? I, I tried so hard to write this, Natsuki. Can't you just read it for me? Hmm. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. You don't know how to read. Well, I just, just stare at the, the words then until something happens in your head. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem make me go ha, but it's not that great. You pulled the words from a fucking dictionary, and here they are on paper. But you picked some pretty fucking good words. You ruined everything. I hope you're happy. I am happy. Do you like me? No. Natsuki's <laughs> retort gets caught in her throat. Ooh, yes, so. <laughs> you just you don't understand anything, do you? I've already told you, you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self important. I'm on Xanax, Natsuki. <laughs> I say that mostly to myself. <laughs> Natsuki must really hate me or something. I don't blame her. Well, can I see yours? Fine, take it. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's, that's about, about it. it. Nah, this this poem really the hits fuck? different. <laughs> yeah, no, actually. <laughs> nah, it's just these two lines. I was like, oh, oh dry. That's, that's about, about it. it. <laughs> I love how the music changes to be like little xylophone kindergarten yeah. music. <laughs> oh my god, I told you that we ain't going to like it. I do like it. What? No, just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? You can't read. <laughs> Come on. Don't lie to me. I know you can't read. Everyone here, they know how to read. They would give me better feedback than you. Why are you even lying to me telling me you like it? People don't even take my writing seriously here. <coughs> Isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? That's what Mikiri Counter told me. Your writing style would make your... I forgot her name. Would what? make your messages any less valid. Monica. Mikiri Counter? <laughs> Monica told me that. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm confused in the fourth wall. <laughs> I've broken it. It's like when, I, when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard, you know? Like in this poem here. People I can try. Read. That's about it. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So Preach. I decided to write about it. Preach. I understand. Preach. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Preach. <laughs> like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. Preach. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. Yes, girl. So you did. I guess Monica was right. You are as smart as me. What the fuck are you talking about? Did she say that? <laughs> when did she say that to you? Tell me right now. I'm gonna find this bitch and slap her right across her cheeky fucking face. <laughs> Did not expect to hear that out of your fucking mouth. I'm sorry. <laughs> I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't know. I'm not really sorry. Natsuki's gonna fight Monica and I'm gonna get the winner. Alright, we have two left. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna put you out of your misery, you just Yuri. Okay. Is more than a minute. <laughs> she just keeps moaning. Do you like it? <laughs> oh, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. No, it's fine. I know it's hard. I forget all the time. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words in the nicest way possible. <laughs> This is your first time writing, right? 
Yep. Is it obvious? Yep. <laughs> I guess that it might be the case after reading through it. Hmm. I guess it's pretty bad, huh? N no! Oh, did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yuri is adorable. I want to fuck her. <laughs> I mean, it's I couldn't help but notice her. I mean, uh, it's been several minutes and we... I mean, it might... <laughs> it's fine. I wasn't looking. <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> right, um... It's just like there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. <laughs> <laughs> I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up on a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering's completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you're oh, waiting for. <laughs> there are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a single poem. Not just finding them, but building them. But getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. I went in the dictionary and found the words. Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that anyway. Sorry. What? I'm not sure what Yuri's talking about. I stopped listening halfway through. I heard Natsuki's name. Can I read your poem? Please do. <laughs> yeah, my throat is dry from this talking. God. I'm in it to win it. I'm not dead yet. <coughs> I'm gonna get through this and then we have to end this episode. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her. It must be nice to have people to read your things. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Which itself is very sad. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Yuri, please read it to me. I can't read. <gasps> Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living the past. <clears throat> <laughs> the light flickers. I flicker back. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I have such charitable hand in handwriting. What? <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about that at all. But it took you such a long time to read. Uh, I mean, don't rub it in. <laughs> I'm just trying my hardest. <laughs> I'm trying my <laughs> I think your scribbles are very nice. Um, I'll take that as a compliment. Yes. Even though there wasn't a lot of it, it was very curvy and pretty. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. No, no. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little bit more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Dunk Chugger. Really? I got completely lost. I thought this was about ghosts inhabiting bodies of children after World War II. Well, I suppose you really can't read after all. <laughs> Remember that poets often express their thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining phase of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. I like it better when they paint pictures, though. I, I hadn't thought of anything that words could show me. Words <laughs> are just mouth noises. <laughs> You're not incorrect. Anyway, it makes me happy that you think that... 
But just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Maybe you're right, Yuri. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you! Oh. Alright, here we go. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> the best one. Mm. This is a good poem, Dunk. You sure it's your first time? Come on, Sarah, you, you know what it is. You, and you know it's not good either, like, come on. I'm, just, I'm capping for pussy here, you know that. Am I, <laughs> you, I, you know I don't write or read. <laughs> well, of course I know that, but it's still a pretty good poem. <laughs> That's why it impressed me. I mean, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't take it too seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one. Or show up again. Or come to school. You remember that time you didn't come to school for a whole month? I'm just happy you wrote one. That ain't close to home, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me how you really a part of club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. God, I hate you so much. <laughs> God, fuck. Yeah, of course. God, I'm not really into it yet. It doesn't mean I break my promise. God. Are you coming down? <laughs> 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 things like this for other people. It's just something only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. <laughs> <laughs> then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing that she's a single woman and all. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, alright? Yeah. That will be my way of thanking you. Yeah. <laughs> alright, I'm gonna hold on to you then. Yeah, wait. Uh, just read the poem and stop pretending. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm bad at this too. <laughs> we'll see about that. Whoa, Dear big... Sunshine, <coughs> the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, <laughs> it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. <laughs> you asking me to come out and play? You trusting me to wish away the rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> Sayori, this is genius. Did you wait until this morning to write this? What? Maybe? Incredible! How did you make something this good so quickly? You're a prodigy! Uh... I might have... done codeine. <laughs> oh! I should have tried that! I... look... I... <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get over it, alright man? Like, it's not as good as you think. I, I try my best. Yeah, I feel that. I didn't mean to say like Cody's a bad thing. It just, you know, it could have been helpful to make something insightful. Everyone hated my fucking poem. <laughs> Everyone here thinks I'm an idiot. Not like you, though. <laughs> really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> I can go for some eggs and toast. I'm coming down. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I don't have anything for you either. I get really cranky when I come down. I got tons of Zans in my bag, don't worry. <laughs> anyway, thanks for showing me your words. Of course. This was so much fun. Monica's the best. Yeah. Next time I won't forget, and I'll ask my hookup Rin for some more coding. <laughs> I'm gonna write the best poem ever. I'm gonna write the best crossover ever. Alright, I look forward to the hookup. <laughs> Alright. My guy. Let's end this episode. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this is already gone off the rails. <laughs> I'm gonna do the AC on a minute. It's hot. Holy shit. This is, this is, this is on here.